So the second document, uh, the Catholic Church and the Black Lives Matter movement, uh, was meant to simply provide a resource for primarily Catholic but others to engage in a conversation in a calm and reflective way on the question of Black Lives Matter because most people hear the phrase in the evening news or see a cartoon in a local newspaper where they do not know what it means. And so that pastoral letter just sums, sums up some of the historical factors that led to the emergence of the expression Black Lives Matter, particularly after the uh, deaths of young men of color in altercations with representatives of law enforcement, including Eric Garner in New York and uh, Michael Brown Jr. in Ferguson and Tamir Rice in Cleveland and so many, many, many others. Uh, expressions like uh, hands up, don't shoot or emerge and then Black Lives Matter. And of course the term Black Lives Matter, even though the proponents of it don't stress this fact, presumes that all lives matter. But the term Black Lives Matter uh, emerged because of the uh, experience of many people that would suggest that when some young men of color enter into altercations with representatives of law enforcement for relatively minor things, rather than being arrested or detained or taken to the police uh, by one circumstance or another, their lives end and they, are, uh, they die in these altercations. Whereas it seems that the police are able, in many cases, with other men who break the law to uh, de-escalate the situation and detain them without uh, any uh, fatal act. Uh, some have even said that in some cases it seems that these men are tried and convicted uh, and executed on the streets rather than the courts. There are three specific ministries of a bishop. And the first one is to teach. The second one is to uh, rule or guide or oversee, the word bishop comes from the Greek word overseer, and the third is to call to holiness or to sanctify. So the first of the three ministries of every bishop is to teach. Uh, whether he teaches through an article in his um, Dasa newspaper or in his homilies or in confirmations or in meetings with his priests, uh, but those bishops who have the discipline or the skills or the desire to write also teach by their writings. And so for many years I wrote uh, many papers and speeches for archbishops and cardinals uh, to help them in their teaching ministry when I was not yet a bishop. And once I became a bishop, I did not feel the need to have someone else write my ideas for me. So I would begin to write pastoral letters on a variety of subjects. Uh, if the Black Lives Matter movement is to gain more support and, and traction, it must uh, acknowledge the larger picture. On the one hand, I appreciate very much that those in the movement want to call attention to a specifically egregious and problematic reality, that it seems in some cases young men of color die seemingly unnecessarily in altercations with white police officers. Some members of the Black Lives Matter movie will point out something like the fact that Dylan Roth, the 21-year-old white man who slaughtered nine people of color in the Mother Emanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church, uh, somehow the police managed to find him, arrest him, and the speaker said, I have not documented this myself, but said he was taken to Burger King and given a hamburger and shake and fries before he was taken to jail. They managed to bring this person into custody, having murdered nine people, nine people of color, whereas a, a young man of color who was driving with a missing license or a taillight missing, somehow that conversation ends with that person's death.